Hi, it's Angie, and this video is a little different than my usual videos. In this video, I plan to share some life-changing events that have happened to me in the last few months. Uh, things that have affected me as an artist. And, um, and as I share these experiences, I'm going to just have some of my art showing as a slideshow. So we'll go ahead and get started. In January, my dad died. And I mean, obviously that's life changing. He was a source of support and encouragement for me as an artist. So after he passed away, I've definitely struggled artistically. There's just that emotional block. I can't bring myself to draw. There, It's heartbreaking knowing that he's not going to see my next artwork or the next photograph that I take. He's not going to be a part of any of that. It's a painful thing to face. So I haven't drawn at all since he's passed away. But a few weeks after he passed away, um, I started to experience something else that was life changing. I was starting to have health problems of my own and it went from having an emotional block that was keeping me from drawing to physically not being able to draw. I started to experience some severe joint pain in my hands and knees, feet, ankles, back, hips. It became disabling and it happened very suddenly and I I can barely walk. I can't really leave the house. I don't drive at the moment. I've had to start working from home. I can't do normal activities like opening doors or getting in and out of bed or dress, getting myself dressed. I mean, I, I struggle to do those things showering, um, cooking, using a fork. I struggle with, with that. I have pain. Um, I went to a rheumatologist and was diagnosed with psoriatic arthritis, which is an autoimmune, autoimmune disease. I actually start treatment for that tomorrow, and I'm hopeful with that the treatment will relieve some of my symptoms that I'll take away some of the pain and that I'll start to have better mobility. Hopefully within a few months, I'll start to have a more normal life. At least I'm hopeful. But as hopeful as I am, I'm also scared. I admit it, I am sick. I am scared of what my future holds. Um, and I definitely don't know what it means for me as an artist or photographer. I just don't know what I'm going to be capable of. Now with psoriatic arthritis, I understand that once I start a treatment, I will more than likely have good days and bad days. So I will need to learn to, when I have good days, I'll need to learn to do what I can. And when I have bad days, I'll need to learn to rest my body. Um, but you know, right now, I don't think I'm physically able to draw. My right hand is very swollen. I can't bend my fingers very well. So I struggle to hold a pencil and it actually hurts to hold a pencil. I've um, tried to write my name and I can do it, but not very well. Um, so I know that drawing will be the same. I, I will struggle to draw and I haven't even tried to hold my camera. I'm not going to. But um, I'm not giving up by any means. I just may have to change. And I think it will be interesting to see what happens going forward. Um, I definitely plan to continue to make videos and I hope to make videos of this journey. Um, maybe there's someone out there that will benefit from hearing my story. Maybe they're uh, going through something similar and can relate. Um, I also think it'll be interesting just to see 
you know, the progress and what I will be capable of and what changes I may need to make and um, just to see how this disease may or may not affect how I am as an artist. Um, so like I said, I'm not giving up. I am definitely hopeful. Um, I'm just also a little bit afraid. <laughs> I'm not afraid to admit that, I guess. We'll see where things go from here. Um, but, you know, as always, thank you so much for watching this video. I just wanted to share a little bit of what I've experienced and what, you know, people may expect going forward and, and why there might be some changes to the channel. Um, and just, again, thank you so much for watching. Thank you for those that have subscribed. And I'll see you again in the next video. Bye.